Let me, let me show you around the chest. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. we'd love to. We'd love to. What? Actually, uh, I was... This is something that I actually I was going to compete against uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. But then, uh, he is simple. He just said, why should I fight you for $5 million when I can fight somebody else for $10 million and I don't have to go to war? <laughs> and so I said, well, it makes, you know, it makes a lot of sense. He's a good businessman. But, um, and uh, these actors, you can... Uh, you look, you look kind of like Patrick Swayze, actually. Actually, I, I doubled him. Uh, ah, it, I doubled in the Roadhouse. You did. Yeah, that's oh. that's probably our uh, the, one of our favorite movies. Really? Yeah, we, ah. we really like it. Really? It's well, really that was right. good. Yeah. Most of these actors on the wall here that actually actually come here when they're not doing movies, they're actually coming here training on the rough time, okay? I, I heard a story that I would like to ask you about. Sure. Uh, the, the jump? Oh yes, uh -huh. I heard that David Lee Roth wrote Jump Thinking of You. That's right, he dedicated it to me because uh, he said I gave him the inspiration to write it when I was teaching him uh, and then to teach him how to j uh, do jump kicks on stage. Ah, so yeah, he did a lot of that. Yeah, so oh, so you mean ago. he did he did actually train with you only to do jumping kicks on stage? Was that his like, or was I, it that no, he started actually, training actually, with you and then he was like? Then he got then he got to actually he actually had a fight. He oh, actually he fought. Yeah, he actually fought amateur uh, kickboxing? Uh, kickboxing, 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 amateur. Yeah. In training, okay, again, it's not how long you train, it's the intensity that you train. The type of effort in a short amount of time, quick movement in a short amount of time. Or you could do the same thing for three hours and take your time. Okay, so I prefer shorter time, faster movement. So the brain picks up quickly. Okay, it thinks quickly, it responds quickly. Uh, have you always made your uh, living out of fighting? Yeah. Always? Uh -huh. So now you That's have good. your own gym and you uh, uh, like get money from the gym? Or? Oh yeah, but I mean, that's not where I make my money. I do this because I love it, not because I make money. No. I do this for the love of it. I make my money from the movie industry, I make my money, my money from my books and all sales, my in you know. I make money from everything else I do. This I do out of love. Young fighters that want to like uh, do the, do it for a living, do fighting for a living. What what can you say to people like that? Then then it's basically this: how bad they want it, what are they willing to do? There's a sacrifice in everything. You have to love it so much that the fact that you know nobody has to tell you to go and run, nobody has to tell you how to eat proper. You have to be very very serious because it's not only a sacrifice. That means when people are out there partying and doing their thing. Hey, you're resting because you got to get up in the morning and run, and you know that. So there's a sacrifice in it. Thank you very much. Uh -huh, you're it was welcome. a pleasure. Thank okay. you, Benny. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. Thanks for the other day. Could you could you start with telling us about your your background? Uh, believe it or not, when I was, uh, I started, when kids had fire trucks, at three years old I had boxing gloves. Ah. So I was boxing from the age of three uh, all the way up. At five, at five I was in competition, peewee division at five. Then I started doing Kimpo Karate. Back in the 60s you had to be 18 years old to become Shodan and Black Belt and that, and any, in, in any martial arts. And at 14, I was hurting a lot of kids. I was making them cry and, and everything else. In the gym? Yeah. In the gym? Yeah, in the gym. And so because of that, um, they actually forced me to get my black belt. And so at 14, I broke tradition. <laughs> so it's more, more or less been like a martial art life. You've been doing martial arts for the whole of your life. All my life, uh, I've been, I've actually been in the art for, this is going on 26 years now. There, no, oh, right hand. That doesn't happen. Look at Benny's, right? Number no. Yeah. Benny says, yep. Crowd love right. that. Round one action. That's one I always know for a little bit. He's covering up. Moving he must around. have had a fight plan. That has to throw it off. Yes. 
He's not backing off. Though. He's just working. He's you the started first. your own uh, martial art. What, what? How did that work? You went to Japan, or? Oh yeah, that's you know? right. Well, you know, in Japan, uh, because I have nine black belts in nine different styles. Nine different. Yes, styles. and so. Uh, when there, I put all the styles, the best of each one, and I took them and I created my own system, which was called, at the time, Kimpo Shotokan. So when they asked me in Japan, when I first went to Japan and fought there, I beat their champion. So they said, well, what style? we never seen this style before. What style is it? And I said, well, it's called Kimpo Shotokan. So they said, you must make up your own. So I made up my own... Um, name and my my style is called yukiro kan you must have a bunch of, of stories of good stories about your your fights and can, could you tell us about maybe some sp- specific fight or something like a good like story because you, you know got a lot of stories. Uh, i mean stories that's one thing i do have um uh you know for instance you know when when you become a top fighter and when you're when you become a champion you're a top fighter in most third world countries what happens is that when you start to build really and beat the champions automatically they want to control you I'm talking about the families some people call the Akwaza some people call okay they all they, they all they all want to control they all want to control because they look like me as a racehorse so what happens is they said we will pay you 40 American thousand dollars if you would fight this guy but only we will set it up I said, I, if I'm going to fight him, I'll fight him for real. And they said, no, 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 we'll give you this money. But, you know, and so they tried to convince me to fight. Yeah. So the next day, I told them, I'll think about it. So my manager and me, we went to the airport giving our middle name. Instead of our first name, my middle name, because they didn't know. Uh-huh. We get in the plane, we come home. Then I get a phone call saying, you shouldn't have done that. that. That means, that means we're going to take care of you. So I had to go back to Japan the next week and apologize for leaving. I've been to two world countries where I had I had actually a death match. I had a death match, uh, you know, and uh, to me I didn't know what he meant to the death, but they said to the death. It's what do you mean by death much? To the death. I mean, this to the death. Ah, oh, okay. And this, now, this is Were back... Were you wearing this, gloves? Or? No, no, no. This is to the death. And you go out there. And I thought I was going to do an exhibition. Oh. But it's, and so I had a death match. And believe it or well, obviously he didn't kill me. You thought they just, just, just called I knocked them out. Match. I knocked them out. Yeah. But they wanted me to take care of... To whack him. Yeah. yeah. I broke his cheek. I broke his nose. I cut him his face. You ever seen the the, the movie is called The Elephant Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Elephant Man, how the guy's face was distorted. Yeah, like yeah, hockey, yeah. Like that's, that's what this guy looked like when I finished with him. Of all the fighting I've done, I only count title defenses. I have 63 title defenses, and I've had over 200, 300 fights. But these are just regular fights. But title defenses is much easier for me to count. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I defended my title 63 times. That means 63 wars. Uh, yeah. And the rest of the other were fights were just battles. But these were wars. They were the best of the best of each country yeah. that wanted to take my title. A pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. It's been so much fun. Also okay. training with you and everything. Wonderful. Thanks for having yeah. us Thank here. Thank you.